This was the Facebook ad that we ran across that led us to this property. That the photos of it are absolutely amazing, and it is the three bedroom, two bath that we wanted. The price range is, is exactly in where we're at. Uh, we talked about it, and we, we were willing to take a look at it because everything looked so nice and looked really great. <clears throat> that it had the three bedroom. It had, in, in the photos, an amazing, an absolutely amazing kitchen, and, and it does have a nice kitchen to it still. Uh, the previous tenants, I guess, had some problems, and you'll see in the video. But the balcony was really cool. It didn't have the greatest of views, but it, it, it overlooked a decent subdivision, and there were kids, and there were people around. And it definitely looked like someplace it would be enjoyable to sit out, you know, have an evening. The only drawback, and again, you'll see this in the video, that it is kind of removed from the rest of the house. And here's one of the other bedrooms. Here's a better shot of that kitchen. It, this gas range well, it was it's just shy of a commercial range and it's a really nice kitchen setup with a full-size refrigerator and a microwave uh, here's another view of the balcony and here's an even better view and in the video that Cindy points it out that because of what happened uh, they want up moving this furniture down into the living room this is now the sala set whoever had this previously did a home office out of here and did cat5 cabling throughout the house so that uh, because of the block construction, uh, Wi-Fi is not the greatest for signals. And it's an absolutely amazing house, even with what happened. And, and you'll see it in the video. It's nothing horrible. Uh, but, but it's just a, a case of expectation and reality. The final straw for us is, although there is a lot of... Uh, amenities out here uh cindy and i've stayed at this uh, pacific subu resort we've dove there uh, scuba dove there uh i believe he said it's a shangri-la but one of the resorts over here uh he was saying for 180 dollars a year you get full access privileges to it and it includes a weekend or two weekend stay or something like that they, they, uh, if we would have uh, rented the place we would have gotten more info on that one but overall, it was an amazing place. It just, you know, it's saying right now it's 49 minute back to our condo. And at the review, we talk about it, and it was over an hour back to the condo. So that was the, the, the final one for us that, that we just didn't feel we could do it. And, and to help them in this, that... Typically, if it wasn't for the pregnancy, there is a lot of good medical over there that you wouldn't need to come back to Cebu for it. But since Cindy's already seeing an OBGYN, that we didn't want to change and, and it just wouldn't have worked for us just simply because of the distance. But I hope you enjoy this video review. We are here in Cordoba. Yeah, okay. Hello, she's here number one. Oh, I mean... Come on, guys. That this is the house that we're going to be looking at. It's actually in a really nice subdivision. And you got to admit, it really was a nice subdivision. It, 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 it is, yeah. It was, yeah. Well, very cool. And it's the only house that we've been at that we looked at that had any kind of a yard to it whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> That was both kind of nice and would have added an extra challenge of maintaining the yard. Yeah. And that's one thing I never really did get into with them is who maintained the yard, whether the, the association did or we did. Oh, well, very nice. I guess it's just uh, the setup was expectation versus reality. Yeah, that the... Whoever rents it or, or whatever, we want to discuss with them whether they want the house painted new again, mm -hmm. but turned over in good condition, or the house left the way it is, and that way they don't worry about it. You know, we're willing to do either way. Cause like, and that was kind of a nice option that they were going to be willing to give us. Back the seats and, and stuff. Normally, mm -hmm. like I so said, we live in the home, we get them immaculate, 
and rent them out. And unfortunately, people don't keep them at the same yeah. level that we prefer to live, you know, and it's like... I guess that's the sets dining uh, tables to, I mean, chairs in the balcony. That looks like the chairs and stuff from the balcony. Yeah, you're right. And, and then their couch or everything was taken by the... Because... Yeah, their last tenants had uh, some issues and, and left the house yeah. in pretty bad disrepair. There's three bedrooms here. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Danny. <laughs> oh. This is the weirdest design in the world. The toilet. Hold on, I gotta turn the water off. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. Only in the Philippines. We have water here. Different shower and. So the shower. And uh, the toilet's different. Baby drone, say perfect for you. One for your baby. One for your baby. Oh, that's a small. Oh, very cool. And a ceiling fan. Yeah, every room. They have internet already. Oh, yeah. Fast, fast internet here. Oh, very cool. Pila MBPS. Ah, say, Greg, now I'm going to ask. Who was asking? And then I found that here, my aircon, then each room have an aircon. Did she ever really reply? Mm -hmm. Oh, very cool. Good. Good. Master bedroom split that you see. That used to be the outside of the house. Uh, oh. When we go through it, I'll show you. Because this used to be, this is the original home. Uh, it was 56 square meters, three bedroom. I can't remember what the model it was called. Yeah, I did show This a... used to be the kitchen, actually. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, okay. Oh, oh, very cool. Yeah, look, I uh, know, like you is style. Yeah, Oh, nice gas stove. And I like the way the gas setups out on the uh, patio or out on the uh, carport. Garbage disposal. Oh, a garbage disposal? Yeah, they're kind of unusual yeah. in the Philippines. Yes. High end. Style. You know, it's decent size. Actually, have a real oven so you can cook the ice. Oh, okay. Okay, here. Oh, cool. Yeah, because that was one thing I noticed that you actually had an oven. Yeah. yeah a, a lot of places around here have just the cookstops. Yeah. And unfortunately, uh, our ex tenant, she took our cast iron grill that was offering this thing. Yeah. 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 We can but, get a grill. Uh, <laughs> all sides fridge. The another weird toilet. A weird toilet. Yeah, because there's no shower now. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> I got one shower and basically they got uh, what I changed out before people move in. Yeah. Freaking water mm -hmm. since no it's been empty for like two and a half months. Water all down in here and it freaking molded, so we're ripping all this out. Oh, all the insulation stuff, yeah. Storage. Hey, we have bathroom in here too. Uh oh. I see that. Yeah. Oh, the pink bike. <laughs> yeah. Uh Washing machine. Oh, okay, very cool. Is that where it belongs or is that just where it got stored? There's actually a drain right there for it. Oh, okay. <laughs> the location begged that question, I'm sorry. <laughs> In this fourth bedroom slash office, this is where the original owner, Steve, catfied everything up you know, so we didn't have to do Wi Fi. Oh, very cool. The balcony. The balcony is. Slide. Oh. Oh, yeah. It was locked. It was your salon, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, this is where that furniture that was in the living room yeah. is shown in the pictures. You're right. I just, until you pointed it out, I didn't notice that. You can make this as a bar, you know? But this patio, the the balcony, is gorgeous balcony. You know, not not a whole lot of view, but it's a gorgeous balcony. Yeah, all, all the four bedrooms have the downstairs. It's pre-wired for the split type unit. We just never stuck it in because, literally, like I said, the couple months that we lived in the house, right? You know, we are either here in the bedroom, you know, and either that or if we we're in the living room, we just had the fan on because. Yeah. Yeah. Ten months a year for all right here in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, then we did that so that we could listen to what was being said and 
kind of keep up with it without having it double recorded. What was your overall impression? I guess it's just a setting arrangement uh, that applies to us that was it's kind of reality expectations mm -hmm. issue. Yeah. The photos, uh, I'll, I'll stick the photos, <coughs> I'll, I'll do like I did any other one, I'll stick the <coughs> photos me. in front of this. Can you want me to get? Uh, yeah. Then I'll do like I did on the other one and stick the photos in front of this video so that you'll see them and kind of get an idea of the difference between expectation and reality that there was. I, I guess the previous tenants had some uh, issues and the, the same problem a lot of renters, uh, a lot of landlords face is that the place was pretty well destroyed and that they're trying to get it, it back together and like like you said in a video that they're willing to do as little as, as the renter wants or as much as the renter wants. Yeah. That was really cool. I guess my only concern with that one is it's just one hour travel from Cebu City. Yeah, the owner was really cool that he knew we were where we were at and he also knew that uh, Sunshine is in intensive care. <laughs> intensive care, yeah. Uh, and they happened to be in Cebu City yep. and said, yeah, we can give you a ride over. Well, you know, why don't you just let us give you a ride over? It'll save you a taxi fare. And uh, so they did. They came and picked us up. And it was a Friday night in traffic, or Friday afternoon. Yeah. And traffic was really bad. I don't think there was anything going on that, that week. It's but just... The traffic was really bad going over there. And this is still under COVID, so it's not. That was last week, though, oh, last Friday. Yeah, that was last Friday. Yeah, today when we go home, traffic would be bad too. Yeah, it was uh, Friday, April 23rd that we looked at the house. And uh, that, so there wasn't a holiday weekend or anything like that. And, and we're still under COVID, so traffic by all rights should be less than anything else. How much more if it's regular? And that was kind of my thought. When that Cordova link gets installed, that the house is right close to the end of that one. Yeah. And so that's going to make it a really short hop. Mm -hmm. And he made one comment that was that was interesting, and, and, and I kind of like the concept. Cordova Bridge is going to be toll bridge. Yeah. Uh, so it'll help keep traffic down on the bridge so that that third link won't be as well used as the other two. Correct. Uh, so that should make it a huge difference. Um, because that actually, that Cordova link puts you not quite downtown, but really close. Yeah. It's just like, I I, I just think of, like, yes, we save basically, let's say it's 100 bucks or more for in, in there going to um, Cordova, but the fee will, you know, the yeah. fee will, and your time. Now, the day they... they they took us out to the mall on Mokhtan and, and uh, dropped us at the mall, and which which is five minutes yeah. from the from the house, mm -hmm. uh, maybe ten, but it, it's not far. It's five ten minutes tops. We got a cab, and I set a stopwatch as we got in the cab out of curiosity. And yeah, and when we we opened the door to our apartment. The, that I, I remember the, the stopwatch and I turned it off and it was an hour and two minute commute. Imagine. And so that's saying anytime you wanted to do a doctor appointment or anytime we needed to come into... That would be more tiring to me. It, it would be an hour each direction at least. Correct. And so that was kind of the bottom line of that place. The, the, we both loved the looks of it, loved the location of it. There were kids playing in the neighborhood and, and, and all of that. And uh, it was right by that PCR that we enjoyed going to diving. Yeah. Uh, that it was right by a bunch of resorts. Correct. But just location. Yeah, that, it, that it's just so hard to get in and out of. You might as well be in, in Naga. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but the, the, I, I would not recommend Naga be pollution. Right, but I'm just saying you the, the, it would be that far away. It'd be halfway to Sabuna. Yeah, basically. And so it, it just 
It's a beautiful house. We'll actually include the, the, the contact info. Yeah. If it wasn't for needing the medical, wanting, you know, wanting the, 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 the real close access to the medical, I kind of think this would have taken. Yeah. First. That th this would have taken first. But everything happens for a reason. Oh yeah. And the choices we made is based on the factors that we are trying to prioritize. Yeah, and with our current priorities, that the, the, just the commute time is, is what killed it for us. Yeah. And that's the only thing that killed it for us, or, or the final. The final blow for it, but uh, but overall the house is pretty, you know, like it. But it just uh, it, it was a very nice high end house. I will say it each would be house great is for somebody. We see there's always a positive. Oh yeah, there, 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 there's definitely positives and need, negatives in all of them, but we just need to pick what is our priority and our needs, and you know, right, 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 right this moment. <laughs> what do you think? I yeah. I'd say that, that that's kind of got a, a a one a one thumbs up. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that if anybody's interested, I will include the link the to the Facebook ad yeah. down below. Yeah. Uh, please contact them; that they're really sweet people. That they they are very cool people. Ironically, they are staying in Sabuna right now. Yeah. Uh, and I, I think we may have actually made a couple of friends from it. Yeah. So. But that's it for this review. Mabuhai! Mabuhai.